In this episode, we're going to talk about probing, and we're also going to talk about shoveling. Shoveling is what takes us the longest in an avalanche rescue, and it's also very physically draining. So we're going to talk about some strategies that we can use to efficiently and effectively remove snow with one person or with multiple people. So what we have going on here is we have one buried person, one missing person, two searchers. And we're taking it just from a fine search. We took our skis off at about 10 meters. And now we're just, I'm pinpointing. Okay, Jason, I have two meters. Take out your shovel and probe. So I'd have Jason take out the rescue gear while I just double check, really zone in on that smallest number that I'm finding. Okay. It's a meter 30 right here, so I'm gonna wanna mark that spot, right? Meter 30, Jason's got his probe out. Would you put together my gear after you get that? So I'm having him just put together my gear. I'm gonna start to probe. When I'm probing, I'm looking for a change in depth or I'm looking for a spongy feeling. We really wanna make sure that when we get a probe strike, that it's a probe strike. The last thing we wanna do is dig for 10 or 15 minutes and then realize we just hit a firm piece of snow. So as I'm probing, I'm, I'm spiraling out, not leaving a space greater than if someone were standing straight up and down in the snow. All right, there it is, probe strike. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my probe. I'm gonna see that's at about 130 centimeters right there. If I have another probe really handy, I might just wanna go ahead and be like, yep, 130, that's another probe strike, okay. We're gonna leave that probe in. Now, what we're gonna do with two diggers, since it's over a meter deep, I'm gonna start digging right at the probe and Jason's gonna move plus time and a half downhill from the probe and start digging there. And what I wanna accomplish is I wanna have a slope that goes into the bottom of the probe. I don't want it to be greater than 25 degrees so snow's not rolling back into that. And I also want it to be about arm's width wide so that when I get to the person, it's not just a little air hole, but it's, I'm able to actually bring that person, excavate that person from the snow and lay them on that platform. They need to have air, but they also need to be able to expand their lungs and take a breath. If, we're get a, if we get a probe strike with two searchers, one missing person at about 90 or less than a meter deep, what we're gonna do then is Jason and I are gonna be side by side and we're gonna take one step back from the probe and start digging right there. If we had another person in this scenario, they would be downhill of us digging in from the downhill side, or they would be removing our snow once we start moving it downhill. So if there are four people, five people, we're just lining up and removing snow, especially in a deep burial. And this person was buried 215 centimeters or more. What we'd want to do is the first person would start up here. We're just putting our shovel on our hip for spacing. And we're just keeping that spacing going with multiple people. And what we're doing is we're just digging down. We're removing snow to the side, both of us. And then we're just pushing it back. And then I'd be pushing it back towards Jason. He'd be pushing it to the side if he can, or he'd be just pushing it back to the next person. So it really is important to use these strategic shoveling techniques effectively and efficiently. Digging takes the most amount of time and it's also extremely tiring and takes a lot of energy. So we wanna make sure that if you're in back and you see the person up front starting to slow down, you can tell them to rotate. If you're up front, please try to notice that you're slowing down and you're digging and rotate. These videos are a great first step, but I highly recommend taking an avalanche course and practicing with your avalanche rescue gear before you head out into the backcountry this season. <laughs>